What up? It's Bill Cavins. I'm bringing y'all another video again today. So we got uh, Lawsuit Jerry. He just released a video yesterday and it's titled I Solid Period 32 Game G Change. So in other words, I think that means he sold his 32 game chain, if y'all know what I mean. So let's get right into this video. Everybody out there, guys, Lost and Jerry is back with another video, guys. Today is the only day off from work, so I get to sit back and relax a little bit, take care of a few things, and that's about it, you know? But, um, okay. Are you thirsty, boy? Uh, this okay. video is pretty much about my homeboy. Man, guys, I didn't know. But, um, you know, one. It's, it's nothing bad about it, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate them, love them, you know what I'm saying? And uh, all is well. But uh, what I want to talk about was, uh, he said something in this video, and I didn't approve of it, didn't like it, you know what I'm saying? But as far as I can think about sitting back and saying what he's thinking about when I say that, man, I don't give a, I know, I understand what he's saying, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, Point blank was more like, well, how, how much I can pay you to stay away and stuff like that. I don't know if that was a joke. I don't know if that was for real. To me, it felt like it was real. You know what I'm saying? So, um. Jerry, you know he was joking. He just wants you to go and do something, man. Be productive. That's all it was. You know, I ain't been around there since then. You know, I've been keeping my distance away. You know what I'm saying? So when you make a remark like that, you know, how much could I pay you to stay away? You know, I stay away for free, you know, no charge. So, um, getting that down to the point that, um, you know, oh yeah, that's another thing. Don't have my 32 game change on at all. It's gone. Got rid of it. You know, like I said in the last video, you know, uh, I, I, you heard it himself. I'm just going by what he's saying. I don't know if he's trolling. I don't know. I don't think he sold it, but hey, the title of this video, Lawsuit Jerry Sold His Chain. I'm just going by what they say. I don't make up the titles. I don't rewrite nothing like he liked to say in his famous words, but hey, I hope he's not crying and sobbing during this video. Didn't deserve to have it, you know, and I don't have it, so... Man, guys, I just don't know what it's been like, you know, since I got back here from Arizona. You know, when I was in Arizona, I was going through a lot, too. But when I stopped in Texas, you know, down there with CJ and Martin and them to get my change and stuff, it just didn't feel real, you know, because it felt like, uh, I don't know, maybe they got together before I got there, you know what I'm saying, to say, hey, make sure y'all treat Lil Sue Jerry good, you know what I'm saying? Even though what he did, you know, and stuff like that, you know, I thought all that stuff was for forgiving, you know. You've been begging for the chain for two years. You were saying a whole bunch of nonsense. You were begging for the chain. Uh, you couldn't live like you were just talking about the chain 24 seven. You know, that's why it was given to you so you can take the chain and actually do something productive. And it seems like giving you the chain has made everything go down, man. You got to make it make sense. And a lot of people would sit back and say, yeah, he apologized. Yeah, he apologized. I apologize too, you know. It seems like my apologies don't mean anything, but they do, you know. But, uh, you know, I don't, I just don't see it, guys. So it's more like third two game could be part of family. I don't feel like we family. They oh, might be Lord. Each other out there, yeah. But Long Sue Jerry don't feel like part of family with the 32 games. I don't feel like that, you know? And, uh, you know, I thought family posted. Is you don't feel like that because no one's letting you loan money? I mean, you know, loaning money to you? Do you feel like that because you're down on your luck? Do you feel like that because you thought you were going to come back to Illinois and live off of CJ or off the back of the rest of the 32 gang? What did you think? Why are you feeling like you're not a part of it anymore? You got to let me know. Stick tight with each other, you know, when it comes down to wherever it is. Like when my younger brother had passed away and my sister passed away, I thought 32 gang was going to be like this with me when they passed away. It wasn't. 
You know, everybody has their own lives. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they checked on you, Jerry, but I don't know, man. You make good videos, then you make bad videos down in 32 Gang. Like it's it's a back and forth with you. It just depends on what your mood is for the day. Sometimes you're going to be happy about 32 Gang. The next day, you're going to be sad about it. You got to make up your mind. Stay on one stay on one course and keep with it. I honestly think that you just wanted help, and that's all it was going to be. It was more like a letdown towards me, you know, but when I wanted to talk, I called CJ a couple times, you know, after my sister passed away. I didn't get a response from him. I texted him on the two. He was, he was more like a closer brother to me before I can pick up the phone and call and say, hey, man. No, so Jerry don't feel good, man. I just lost my last sibling, man. I just lost the last one. I don't feel good. You know what I'm saying? Why has it got to be CJ? That's my thing. If you have, if you having these issues, then you need to go see a psychiatrist. You need to go see a shrink. You need to go see a mental therapist. These are things that you need to go see. Like matter of fact, like man, I'm hoping he watching, man. Shout out to CJ on 32s, but don't forget Pop with the Crocs. At this point, Pop with the Crocs need to invite him over and actually sit down with Lawsuit Jerry and explain what he needs to do. You know, I, I love hearing from uh, from Pop with the Crocs. Sometimes he'll watch my videos and comment on my videos. Shout out to him. Please, Pops, go and talk to this man. I don't know what is wrong with him. He don't have no motivation. He's complaining about his life. Please give this man some direction. Because obviously what CJ on 32s is saying is not working. I don't get it. I didn't want him to catch a flight out there to finish just to give me a hug or pat me down or something like that or whatever. But pick up the phone. I would have just talked to him. You know what I'm saying? But it just kept on going deeper and deeper and deeper. It went so deep that I had to make a crazy video or do a crazy live about CJ. I didn't want to do that. You know, but <laughs> so he's just basically admitting that he needed to make a crazy video to get CJ's attention. <laughs> Man, it, Jerry it just fool. <laughs> got to the point I didn't care if a plane came down and swiped me off the face of Earth. That's the way I felt. You know, but <laughs> now... When he made the remark, he said, how much I got to pay you to get rid of you? Man, you ain't going to pay me nothing. And that's when I say, you know what? The best thing for Lonzo Jerry to do is talk to the man upstairs. And I did talk to him. You know what I'm saying? And just like he told me. You know? As long as you keep me in your body, heart, and soul, you'll be okay. And I believe in that. You know? God do talk to people. He does. And the thing is, you have to listen. A lot of people don't listen. But all you got to do is talk to him. What do you tell you, you Jerry? Sleep, and he'll talk to you while you're sleeping. You know what I'm saying? He'll talk to you when you're awake. When you're at work or whatever, he's there for you. And I believe in that. So, the thing is that I'm trying to say, guys, is when another person is down or or going through something, you know you're going to have someone there with you to talk to you about it. But I didn't like the remark, what he said in his camera was like, Lance and Jerry need to get off that crazy stuff, man, bye, bye, bye. Trying to hurt yourself. I ain't trying to hurt myself. I ain't trying to do all that. You just said last week you felt like hurting yourself. Do y'all hear what come out of y'all mouth? That's what you said, Jerry. That came out of your mouth. You said last week you felt like hurting yourself real bad. That's what you said. So I titled my video. I don't rewrite anything. These are words out of your mouth. I titled the video, whatever the title was. And then I had the thumbnail. And then I put you, uh, I felt like hurting myself real bad. That's what you said. <laughs> Let, let's continue. No. Man. I asked you off camera, one on one talk. That was it. That was it. And I never got the response back from that. I ain't got no problem with it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, other people I can get up on that phone and call whatever and do what I want to do, but I don't feel like doing that. So I choose to talk to God upstairs, talk to him, 
And that's the only thing that's keeping me going every single day. Go to work every day. You know what I'm saying? Get my little 40 hours in. You know, every week pay. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I feel good. You know, and continue doing what I got to do. I'm not trying to detail nobody's cars for no money. I ain't trying to do nothing for nobody for no money. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Why are you too proud to detail cars, Jerry? You got to make it make sense. 10 years ago, I don't know if anybody knows this, but I used to detail cars, man. Shout out to Delta Sonic. That's where I started my detailing career at. Why are you too proud to detail cars? Look at Andrew. Andrew going to be a millionaire one day off of detailing cars. There's nothing wrong with detailing cars. If I need money, I go out there right now, run my, my butt to AutoZone, get all my little products, and go out there and promote washing cars, detailing cars. There's nothing wrong with that, Jerry. You got to make it make sense. You know, I still I still remember, you know, detailing cars and, you know, then I became a salesman to sell little different packages and the cars. Like I still remember the spill. It's been over 10 years, Jerry. If I had to get back out there and detail cars, I would. You just said you didn't have enough money for the tags on your car, man. You got to keep it going. You got to do these details, man. Look, look, man. I used to be at Delta Sonic. I said, hey, thanks for coming to Delta Sonic today. Is there anything you want us to work on in the car? Hey, it is. <laughs> and then the customer would tell me, oh, yeah, I want you to pay attention to this. And, you know, in the wintertime, you got the, the front mats, right? So, you know, they'd be caked up with the salt from the street. Cause you know, they throw the salt down in the winter time and I'll be like, you know, Hey, anything you want us to pay attention to in, in the car? And they'd be like the front mats. And I'm like, okay, we offer a service for that. It's actually called a salt extraction, which is only $29.99. We'll steam clean the two front carpets in your, in your car. And then they'll look like brand new head ass. Look, I still remember. I still got it. Oh, oh yeah. I'll add that to the package. Okay. Uh, anything else you want us to work on? Oh yeah, you know my seats are kind of you know cracking. You know they're older leather seats. Okay, we got a service that's called Leather Restore, and that's only sixty nine ninety nine. And if you do that, it comes with the three month protection. Come on, man, stop playing with me. I remember it all. That's what Jerry should be doing, man. But let's continue. Well, I'm just trying to take care of what I got going on. What I got to take care. You know what I'm saying? And do it that way. Just like I say, every time I get my income tax. Always help out with my girls with my income tax. Always. I don't care if my last freaking dollar. I'm taking care of my girls with that. You know? And do it the right way. I ain't got to do it, but I do it anyway. So, before I even take care of Lawsuit Jerry, you know what I'm saying? I always take care of them first before I take care of myself. Fair I don't care enough. If I got the same regular clothes on that I had five years or ten years ago. I take care of my kids first before I take care of me. So, that's the only thing about it. I'm not mad about what kind of type of job I got. I love my job. I love what I do at my job. I ain't got no problem with that. You know? But when it comes down to be a group of people that supposed to be part of family, <laughs> you know, I felt like I'm not part of family. You know? And I still feel that way. A lot of people might agree with the other side of the company. That's fine. But I'm just saying, I don't feel part of the um, family group. I don't. You know, I feel like that little donkey with the uh, pen in his, in his butt. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel like. You know? I feel like a So, I keep my donkey butt where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? And just keep myself clear from everybody and... I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that was a funny analogy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> do their thing and I do my thing, you know? <laughs> because when you need help, you can't get it. You can't get the help. I can't never get the help when I need it. For nobody, so. Nobody owes you anything, Jerry. CJ on 32 doesn't owe you anything. None of the uh, stunneries doesn't owe you anything. Real to Real doesn't owe you anything. Um, Marty Mar doesn't owe you anything. Swervo two times doesn't owe, owe you anything. Monty on 32s doesn't owe you anything. Uh, who else are we missing? Pop with the Crocs doesn't owe you anything. Um, the list can go on and on, Jerry. You're a grown man, man. You got to figure it out yourself. 
best thing for me to do is just do what I gotta do. Continue working hard. You know what I'm saying? I make more money <laughs> on my on my job than I do anything else. That's a shame, boy. But that's your fault, Jerry. You could be making a hundred thousand dollars a year from YouTube if you took your YouTube seriously. What's the point of posting videos and you half-ass it? You don't even you can't even spell check your titles. Come up with thumbnails, edit. You got what almost two thousand videos on your channel. During the course of that, you should have got better making videos. You got to put some effort into something. Something, man. You got to put effort into something. Things are just not handed to you, man. You got to make it make sense. I had to get out here, end up going broke, had to pay my car note, pay my insurance, and I got to renew the tags. So, nobody's all I fault asked but yours. Help me out, get my tag so I can do that, and I pay them back. Boom, boom, no problem. And there was a word that you had to work for it. I'm not working for nobody, man. I told you, I pay you back. And that's what I meant. Entitlement. Nobody owes you nothing. Nobody has to loan you money. You can't get mad. Just work for it, Jerry. What's wrong with it? Work for the money. Why do you want things handy? I'll, I'll pay you back. It don't matter. Just work for it, Jerry. And then you good. You can keep the money. And, and it's kind of wrong that you had to work it off. You know, I don't want to work off nothing. I just want to pay it back. You know, I got everybody cash up. All you had to do is cash it in and cash it out. I cash it back out with no problem. But it don't work out that way. So I'm okay with it. I'm good, you know. But just like I always said, I always love the 32 games, man. I always love them guys. I ain't got nothing against them guys, you know. It's just that I came out here and fall into a bad spot, you know what I'm saying? And most things in my brains was like, Jerry, you should have stayed your butt out there. Yeah, I should have had, but I didn't. But I wanted to be back here. Because you figured that family would love to see you come back. Family would love to help you out, family. Oh, man. Everybody wants Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> Look at Jerry. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't even going to react to the rest of this video. I ain't going to lie, man. <laughs> oh, man. Will Jerry ever learn, man? Get in my comment section. Let me know, man. Um, You know, I always respond back to the comments. Uh I said what I needed to say during this video. It's the same old style story, uh... 9,400 and whatever that dude commented <laughs> on Jerry's page, man. Feel bad for him, man. But you're a man. You got to figure it out. But I'll catch you on the next video. Let me know what y'all think. Peace.